What is up, my friends? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Have you ever wanted to use your device at nighttime with a true nighttime mode for iOS? Wouldn't that be cool? Sort of something like this right here. This is Eclipse. It is a jailbreak tweak that will be available, if not already available, for 99 cents on Cydia, and it will allow you to have a true dark mode, a true nighttime mode throughout iOS. So this is what this tweak does. It allows you to use your device at, at nighttime, in the dark, under the covers, wherever you may be. This is Eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. At the top, you'll see a kill switch. You have darkened wallpapers, and then you have an enable orange tint, which is that right there. You have darkened UI views, which is sort of like an experimental mode to add additional darkness to iOS 7. And I'm gonna show you how this works. Experimental mode, I'll show you some of the downsides to that in a little bit. Uh, but first of all, let me show you some of the cool aspects of Eclipse. This is a really cool jailbreak tweet and it shows a lot of promise and it's a very ambitious jailbreak tweak but first of all the settings app looks awesome let me just note that the settings app looks great with the dark mode the nighttime mode here is the stock messages app here's a message with Sebastian and you can see you have the dark mode there you have the attendant bubbles the bubbles are tinted orange. You have the back button, the contact button. All those are tinted orange because we have the orange tint enabled in the settings for Eclipse. Let me show you some additional apps here. Let's show you the, how about the photos app? There we go. And you can see, again, dark mode pervades uh, is pervasive throughout iOS 7 right now. And um, let me show you some something else here. How about the clock app? You see, again, dark mode. You see the orange tint for the buttons. Uh, so this is Eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it does to your device. Now, you will need to kill the apps that are running. For instance, after you enable Eclipse, you want to go through, just kill all the running apps, and then that will give you the nighttime mode in each of these apps here. So that is the iTunes app, of course. What else can we show you here? How about the App Store? And there's the search. You see the tent for the search uh, little icon at the bottom. Now, let me show you one of the downsides of Eclipse because it's not all roses and feathers, but there are some issues with this tweak. This is one of those issues. When you enable that experimental mode, you get something like this in the stock calendar app, and it's just kind of ugly, to be honest with you. Uh, and that's one of the problems with Eclipse. It is just inconsistent, for instance, with the calendar app. I mean, the calendar app is a major application. It's not just some fly-by-night application that you never use, but like Lots of people use that and you're going to run into problems with Eclipse enabled and with that experimental mode enabled. Also with Safari, notice Safari here. At the top you do have a little dark portion, but at the bottom, the little buttons there, they do have the orange tint, but there's no dark mode. And when you start scrolling and then you scroll back up, watch what happens to the top little menu or the top uh, address bar it goes back to light mode. So it's just inconsistent in a lot of areas, but you know, honestly, that's probably to be expected for a tweak that is so ambitious, tries to do so much. I mean, tinting the entirety of iOS 7, trying to add a true dark mode to iOS 7, that is a huge task, ladies and gentlemen. And I think for at least the initial version of this tweak, Frost, the developer, you can see his Twitter handle down there, uh, he did a very good job. So folks, this will be available on CDS Big Boss Repo for 99 cents, if not already. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about Eclipse. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.